Maya, you go introduce this uh this discussion video. Oh, what is wait, it? Wait, what were we discussing again? What you wanted to do, the Halloween thing. Oh, oh here we go. <clears throat> Let me collect myself. Welcome back, Team Forever. Back again with another discussion video. This week we'll be discussing celebrating Halloween and those, for those who do and for those who don't. Reasons why and what the holiday is all really about. Because I don't think anybody seems to really know. So if I can give the background of the... First of all, you didn't introduce us. Oh yeah, this one was on that Alexis, I'm not yet. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Way more professional. About that. Way more professional than the way I've ever done it. Yeah. <laughs> That's yes, what it is. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> so um, Nadia, you came to me with an idea to to do a a tap out uh, edition, a Halloween edition of tap out, mm -hmm. and I went to Alexis and I asked her, and she said she does not celebrate, and she said because of what. Well, for religious purposes, for me, but even if it wasn't for that. And Can we press pause for a minute? Because <laughs> you said religious purposes. But you celebrate your birthday. Because she told me that you was a Jehovah Witness. And I didn't know. And I was like, how? Well, she celebrated her birthday. She celebrated Christmas. She celebrated how? Well, let me see. So I, asked, I, I asked my mom. I was talking to her about it. I was talking to Nadia about it. And I don't understand. How can you be... Selective? Well, I'm not. Technically, I don't celebrate Christmas. Like, a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, they just, they cook for the holidays, but they don't celebrate. Like, you won't see decorations in front of their house, you won't see the Christmas tree, and like, lights and everything, and Christmas presents. We don't celebrate. We don't tell our, like, the young kids that, oh, Santa Claus is coming to bring you gifts. You know, we don't do that. And as far as birthdays go, Santa's don't necessarily celebrate my birthday, my mom kind of reminds me of that every year. But, you know, I do. Yeah, so, so when Christmas come around, y'all don't get gifts? But, yo, don't even I mean, focus on that. Focus on that. She celebrates her birthday. She all out celebrates well, that. And then when we bring up Halloween, it's like, uh, well, I fine. absolutely no. Well, that's what I'm going, I'm going into. Let's get back into the video. Who's already into the video? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But I asked you a question. I said, you said you don't do it because. And that's not what you said. Well, let me finish. Let's just say what you actually said. You let said. Let me finish. I know what I'm doing. She said it celebrates demons and devils. That's what if you that said. That is what she said. I, I said, responded Alexis. with. Alexis. You can become a Wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen, listen. Can we wait for a second for you to explain? Well, I'm setting. This is what I was gonna say. I love this Go ahead. Go ahead, Alexis. Go ahead, Alexis. You asked me why I don't celebrate Halloween, right? And your response right? was demons and devils. Okay. That's it. I don't celebrate it primarily because of my religion. Secondly, I was going go, going to go into even if it wasn't for my religion, and like as I get older, clearly, you know, I choose my own religion. I still want to celebrate it because I feel as if it celebrates and it like glamorizes demons and the devil and well the devil Satan and like demonic stuff that that's what Halloween emphasizes maybe that's not how everyone takes it and spins it I know there's angels there's mermaids there's princesses but the original idea of Halloween is to be scary it's to be spooky and demonic okay so, so it is Hiding behind a couch and jumping out just to scare you. <laughs> but I mean, ain't nobody gonna stop doing that. Okay. I just think. But wait, uh, uh, Nadia, okay, so I asked you if I can get back to what I was trying to say. Right. All I wanted you to say was it celebrates demons and devil. But you went through all that. Exactly. Now I can say, Nadia, I sent you that message and mm -hmm. you said, I didn't think it celebrated that. I thought it celebrated. Children getting candy, like going through the door, just dressing up as fun and getting candy. Like that was the whole purpose for me. And I, I thought, about nothing else. I thought Halloween was celebrating superstitions. I thought superstitions, superstitions. That's why. That's why people dress up as vampires because some people don't believe in vampires. Some people do. That's why people dress up as ghosts because some people don't believe in ghosts. Some people do. That's why people dress up as such and such because some <laughs> people believe in it and some people don't. So me and Nadia decided. Well, actually. I looked it up and I told Nadia we were together at the time or on the phone, whatever. And we found out that all three of us was wrong. We right? all are completely wrong and we all have different opinions. So that's not what Halloween <laughs> celebrates. The 
Shoot, I don't remember what it actually celebrates. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't remember. We are not that good. Let's look it up. But I just want to point out the fact that Google people disguise things. Just go to the um, like you know like to Twilight. Our Snapchat. Twilight is a love story. I love Twilight. I am a super fan. But really, I'm never yeah. gonna. But it's not just a love story. Think. Under that love story, there's werewolves, which are technically supernatural creatures. There's vampires, which are most definitely supernatural creatures. And it's the whole vampire versus werewolf thing. It's the skies. Well, I just think, in my opinion, as a kid, you're not thinking like, oh, all this scary stuff. You, as a kid, you most likely scared of every single thing. I didn't want to go on hunter houses. I didn't want to do all this other stuff. The reason I went trick-or-treating was just for candy. Candy purposes only. And like, that's, that's the only thing you remember. And that's why targeted towards little kids because little kids are innocent. They don't know. They think fun. They think candy. They think a good time. <coughs> However, you ever heard of that saying? I think it's, you know, your eyes are the key to your soul. What you see is what you take in. That's why, I don't know if you ever heard, like even doctors, some doctors would tell you not to leave the television on at night because even though you're asleep and you're, you're conscious, but you know, you're, you're hearing what's playing through that television. So you're subconsciously having those thoughts, you're having those nightmares, those dreams of what's being played on TV, even though you're not physically seeing it, you have to be cautious, you have to be aware of that stuff because that stuff is real. Okay, anyway. No, so it's basically so, don't fall asleep so, with paranormal activity. But so back. Well, so if back I don't to, think that you will have a nightmare if you like. So, oh, so if I can rewind back to a long time ago when I said we found out what it actually celebrates. And basically it celebrates the dead. That's what it was. It's remembering the dead, including saints and all that other stuff. So that's what it celebrates. So we all three was wrong. But, um... So we want you to leave in the comments. Do you celebrate Halloween? If you don't, tell us why. And if you do, tell us why do you celebrate it? What does it represent to you? Does it represent just little kids candy. having fun and having getting candy? Or does it does it represent what? I thought it I don't know how to say this. Do you think it means what I thought it meant? Or did you already know it was what it is? A celebration of the dead, which and I know in some religions or cultures, like that's a big thing, celebrating the dead. But even that is a little demonic. Just saying. Why the heck do I we just have think, funerals? Uh, uh, you're not celebrating. When you go to a funeral, you're not celebrating their you death. Are, you're celebrating the life that they lived and yeah. the celebration of. But they are the, dead. Of, yeah, they're dead and they're in the room with you. I mean, but I just think people just take a different. A different opinion on every single thing like maybe some people don't celebrate like that's why some people get cremated and some people don't yeah. like you know it's just like your different opinion on the the, the subject the the holiday the the celebration like I would never want to get cremated but my grandma she got cremated she wants to be around but I don't think like you know it's just like stuff like that I don't think that should I think it will remind you of the death and I don't want to do that I don't want to see you every single day when you're gone I want to do like the Puerto Ricans you know when they die they just get a steel portrait of them just well, I, I can be just <laughs> dead sitting here like <laughs> I've never seen that, but I, I did watch, I think it was like a documentary or something like that. And they would dress up like the, they would keep the remains of the dead people, right? Like say your grandmother died and they, they keep the bones and everything and keep them dressed up. And then they celebrate it like once a year, like, so you'll be walking. No, it's not like once a year. It's like all year round, like you walk around, you see the bones of the dead person. You know what I'm saying? You get... I don't know. It was I understand I some people have their things, but guys, I encourage you, and trust me, I'm not super religious at all. I don't claim that title, but you know, it's, it's you're supposed to let the dead be dead. Like you. I was whoever, like, you don't really see her. What? What? <laughs> I saw him doing it while I was talking. I was trying not to pay attention to what? it, but he just kept going. I'm like, what? okay, is he gonna stop? Is he gonna stop? I was doing that. I was doing my polls for when I die. The Asian, the Puerto Rican. I'm sorry, but to each his own. And that's it for this week's video, guys. Be sure to leave a like, 
Um, Please leave a comment, subscribe, and share this video all from social media for Nadia, for Alexis, and for myself. Catch you later. And, and I was not professional with that one. Wait, wait.